New data from the IRS showing that the wealthy and their high incomes moved at a much faster rate in 2020. Robert Frank has more on the great wealth migration. Robert, what's going on? Well, Andrew, new report from the IRS showing that the Northeast and California lost over $40 billion in income in 2020. New York losing nearly $20 billion in income from out-migration that year, more than twice the losses of 2019. California also nearly doubling its losses to $18 billion. Connecticut, New Jersey, and Illinois losing a combined $11 billion in income. Now, most of the winners, as we might expect, were low-tech states, especially Florida. Florida adding a net $24 billion in personal income in 2020. Texas adding about $12 billion, with Arizona and Nevada also seeing strong gains. But if you drill down, you look at specific state-to-state -state migration, taxes actually become slightly less important. Now, New Yorkers did go to Florida. That was their top pick. But their second most common destination for New Yorkers was New Jersey, which gained $5.3 billion from New Yorkers who moved there. California also gained $3 billion from New Yorkers. They, of course, have a higher tax rate, but California ended up losing more than twice that to Texas and Arizona. Now, the average income of those leaving high-tax states continues to push higher. New York lost about 1.6% of its population, but nearly 3% of its income. So that shows that the people who left were the biggest earners and some of the biggest taxpayers. Andrew? So if this was happening before, I mean, it sounds like, I don't want to say this was happening beforehand, but it's happening in the midst of this. I know this is backward looking. Can you project forward yeah. what you think? Do you think that this is just the trend is your friend and that it's continued apace? Has it shifted in your mind? I mean, the sad thing is it's impossible to know what happened in 2021. The states aren't providing updated data. And the tax collections don't reflect it. You know, right now, California has a $100 billion tax surplus from its payments in 2021. New York has about a $20 or $30 billion surplus. So it is not showing up in the tax rolls. Again, that's probably masked by the strong markets and strong income that we had last year. So until, you know, it's going to be next year or the year after that we finally see what was happening in 2021 with regard to the population and the incomes that left.